Welcome back. Today I'm going to make this candlestick phone. I used maple and walnut and the project took me the better part of a day sanding and finishing each of the little pieces on it and I know in the video probably most of it I keep referring to this as the microphone and this is the headphone until I remembered actually how they worked but let's go ahead and get started. The wood shop is sponsored by Robust Lathe, Easy Wood Tools and Chefware Kits. Okay, here's what we're going to start out with. I have four pieces of maple here and two pieces of walnut. I'll give you the measurements as I go along, but basically this is going to be the base. This will be the spindle. This will be the little part that comes off the side. The walnut piece will be the earpiece. This will be the receiver. And this eventually is going to be a little piece that holds the receiver, but I'm going to have to do a little work on the bandsaw with that. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the spindle turning and just true those three pieces up. I actually need to true that one up too. So, and then, I don't know, I have to play around with that one a little bit, but then these ones are just going to be brought down. I'm not going to have them that thick. Okay, I'm going to start out with the earpiece first. It's two and three quarter by two and a half. So I'm just going to true it up and put a tenon down on the end of it because we need to hollow out the inside. Just turn the light speed up to about 1800. Okay, this is going to be the mouthpiece. It's six by two and a half, and I'm probably not going to use all of it, but we're starting out with that, and it's another piece of walnut, and I'm just going to do uh, about 1800 again, true it up, put a tenon down on it. Okay, this is going to be the spindle that holds everything together, and it's ten and a half by inch and a quarter. And I'm just kind of, I just looked at the picture and kind of judging off of that. I'm not, don't have any measurements on it, but I think that looks good. So I'm just going to true it up, and actually this one I can go ahead and finish. Put a little tenon down on the bottom here, and then I'll round over the top a little bit, and I'm going to put a little bit of bead in here so that the part that holds the microphone has a little bit more material to hang on to and give it a little bit of detail. Okay, I'm just going to sand this and then I'll move on to the next piece. Okay, this is going to be the part that holds a receiver and I'm really not sure what I'm doing with it or what size it is yet. So, but basically this is what it's going to look like. This is what I'm shooting for. So I need a little tenon down in here that's true and I still need this part flat though. So when they come out, the receiver will go in there. So I'm just going to start carving on it and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to work on the base now. This is six inch diameter and it's two and a half inches thick, but it doesn't need to be this thick. I'm going to bring it down quite a bit, but it's what I had. So just drill the hole in it. I'm going to use the worm screw here. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and true it up and then cup out the bottom a little bit so it sits nice and flat and then just round it over and shape it. Okay. 
it's pretty thick, so I'm just going to hard it off so I don't waste waste the wood and then that way I can, I can use the other piece for something else. Okay I'm just going to sand up the bottom here and then I'm going to take it on the bandsaw and cut it in half. I don't want to hit that screw in there but I'll do that real quick and then I'll come back and we'll do the top of it. I ended up putting a little recess in there because the hole was just a little bit off and if I turned it around then that, it would throw all this off. So I just turned a, a recess there that I can grab with the chuck so it's so it'll run true. I just sanded it with mineral oil and this is some of Lynn's uh, linseed oil and beeswax. Actually, cut it. I'll just cut it with a handsaw real quick. Be a little safer than trying to uh, clamp it and cut it with the bandsaw. Okay, so it ended up being an inch thick. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this around, give it a little bit of detail, and then I'll put a hole in it for the tenon on the spindle. Okay, this is part of the receiver. It's the part that goes behind the earpiece. So I just did it, same thing, drilled a hole in it and use the worm screw. And I'm gonna actually put a little recess in this one, but it's gonna be pretty small and I'll grab it with the, the pin jaws and expand them. And then the microphone will go on the front of it here. Okay, the card died. I thought this was solid. I forgot to drill the hole through it. So I'm gonna put a little dowel in there that will go into the spindle. And now I'm just gonna turn the mouthpiece and I'm gonna bring it in about a quarter of an inch or actually make it about a quarter of an inch on the outside of this at the very top and then taper it down. Okay, now I'm gonna make the earpiece. I'm gonna make it about five inches long. I'll test it to see what it looks like afterwards, but I'm gonna make the diameter the same as the mouthpiece. Uh, I think that'll look good. But I'm just gonna bring the tail stock up until I get the basic shape and then I'll, I'll uh, pull that away and hollow it out.
Okay, I have all the pieces done. I just had a little dowel and I turned down the tip here. That will go in, go in there, and then this will go in the, up in the top there. So, I'm just gonna start assembling. And I didn't put any oil on this piece yet. I want to want to glue it in first, and it'll it'll pop in there. So, let's start putting it together. There we go, I finally got it together. A couple of the joints weren't quite as snug as I'd like, so I was having to pull it off camera and, and clamp it, but finally got it together. And I finished the whole thing with linseed oil and beeswax. And the only thing that uh, really takes some time is, is this little piece here. So I basically just turned the tenon down on it and then uh, cut it out on the bandsaw and shaped it. But it's a fun project, and it, like I said before, it probably took me a better part of a day to, to do everything. All right, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Take care. Mm -hmm.